A contour toolpath is used in Mastercam when you want to f the tool to follow the contours of a part, such as the half round shape shown here in red with the blue chamfers. Before I add the contour toolpath, it's a good idea to analyze the geometry to determine the minimum tool size which can be used to machine this feature. From the Evaluate ribbon, I'll select Measure. I'll select the red arc edge. And the measure window shows the arc diameter is 6.93 inches. Since this is an internal radius, the largest diameter tool I can use should be less than 6.93 inches, which gives me plenty of tools to choose from, so I'll use a 1 inch end mill. But what's the largest tool I can use when I flip the part around and machine these slots? To find out, I'll analyze this arc, which is 0.426 inches in diameter. This means I should use a tool whose diameter is less than 0.426 inches, such as a 3 8 or 5 16 end mill. When determining the cutter size, you should also consider the final depth of cut and make sure that a standard end mill has enough flute length to cut the feature. So I'll analyze the distance between these two arcs. For these slots, the cutter must have at least 3 quarter inches of flute. Not a problem for a standard 3 8 inch diameter cutter. Now that I know I want to use a 1 inch end mill to machine this half round contour and a 3 8 to machine this, I'll close the measure window and I'm now ready to create the contour toolpath.